in the 8.30 hour on week 6, we're kicking it off peanut butter jelly time, is facing off the chubby gangsters. Peanut butter jelly time has been turning it on. Chubby gangsters have been here for a while. I see the chubby gangsters uh, winning this game. PBJ's been coming on, but the chubbies get them by about two and a half, three runs, I say. Matt, what you got? Uh, tough PB and J team played against them. Uh, I know what they're all about. Chubby Gangsters got to play against them too, but you know Chubby Gangsters have lost and tied. I see them getting one in the win column. I got them by uh, three and a half. Yeah, it's a team uh, tale of two teams going in opposite directions. PB and J's on a two-game winning streak. Uh, Chubby Gangsters lost, tied. Uh, they're going to look to get back into the win column, but it won't be easy. Uh, I got PB and J. Down as uh, dogs, I'd say by half a run. It's gonna be close. Right. So run. one and a half, I think, is about where we're meeting there on mm -hmm. average. Okay. okay. So one and a half run to the chubby gangsters, but it'll be close. Second game of the 8:30 hour, Chicken Tetrazzini coming off that tie against the chubby gangsters. Uh, the Angry Birds look like they might be sobering up a little bit and putting it together. <laughs> They got J.K.I., who also seems to be uh, putting things together at this point in the season. Um, you know, close game. Uh, purely on a uh, experience level, I give it to the Chicken Tetrazzinis. Um, I think they got this one by run, run and a half over J.K.I. Yeah, uh, I think um, these two teams, just like uh, Chicken Tetrazzini and Chevy Gangsters, Chicken Tetrazzini and Just Kicking It. They're both very close off the field. Uh, actually, JKI, they got recruited into the league by Andrea Hoffman uh, and some of the Chicken Tetrazzini players. So this will be another friendly rivalry. Uh, so I think it'll be close, just like last week's game. I think Chicken Tetrazzini, uh, they're a team on the rise. They've been much more impressive the last couple of weeks. So I think they got a little bit more momentum. I'll go Chicken Tetrazzini by half a run. Yeah, uh, I, I agree with you guys. Uh, Chicken Tetrazzini's defense is going to be the big play here. Uh, JKI uh, has a couple people, not very uh, on the top spot offensively, has some big kickers out there, but I think the Chicken Tetrazzini outfield is going to hold them to just pop ups and everything. Uh, I got them, I got Chicken Tetrazzini by one. Too. That could be dangerous. So one, yeah. <laughs> uh, I think we're meeting at about Chicken Tetrazzini by one. Okay. Good? Sounds All good. right, Boom. and the last game of the entire evening in week six, FB v FB. That's free balling versus the foul balls. Uh, we talked about free balling already tonight. It's the second half of a doubleheader for them. The foul balls, team coming on, free balling, had some great games, haven't put together a win. I think this is when they do it. I hate to say it to my people, but uh, free ball is going to get this one two and a half to free ball and maybe three. Yeah, I'll go with that line. I think uh, you know free balling. They're bound for a win. They're you know they're due. So it's got, foul balls have been much improved this season, but I just don't see them being able to handle uh, Mark Flores and his heat. So Ooh. I'll I say even... I'll say two and a half um, free balling. I agree, um, you know, don't disrespect man in his own house, but free balling uh, gets their first win of the season, much deserved, three runs. So we're going Plus to by 8, 8.30, the foul balls will be nice and sauce. Oh, yeah. Right. Oh, they that, got to play runs. That that kicks it up. They got to play yeah. runs for you before it, so they might be a little gassed. That takes it from three to three and, nice and a half, and I think. nice and sauce, three and a half. Yeah. All right, foul balls. <laughs> uh, you the know. kick balls get a little slippery in the 8.30. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I'd say keep it sober, but I know that's pissing in the wind, so, you know, <laughs> do your thing, bring it. That's everything for week six. All right, we got the lightning round questions coming up. Everybody who contributed, thank you. Mr. Welbrock, yes. hit us with the questions. Yeah, got I'll on, do it. Got it on my phone here, and uh, thank you guys for all the comments. I feel like all the people that want us to touch on subjects, we did. Uh, a couple of questions really good. Uh, Jeff Polly from The Five O'Clockers asked, five. Debate the best non-top 10, and I would say top 18 to be on the bottom half, or the team with a losing record most likely to make a second half run up the standings. Well, if I had to say team with a losing record, uh, we've already touched on free ball and uh, the Jaggernats. 
Uh, Free Bowlins had a lot of great outcomes. Jaggernets had, I, you know, I can't pick between those two teams. Um, they both had similar outcomes. I'll go Jaggernauts because, once again, I, I started pimping them in week one. Uh, they'll get on the winning edge. They'll be someone not to be trifled with in the tournament. I say Jaggernauts. I'm gonna go, I'll go. Uh, I'll go with free balling. Uh, like we talked about, they're they're due, and I think uh, once their schedule gets a little softer, uh, they'll they'll feed on the soft underbelly of the Wakabia Peninsula League. Yeah, absolutely. They will feast. Yeah, uh, and they'll get some good momentum going into the tournament. Not a whole lot of losses in the column for free ball, and a whole lot of ties. So those games could go on either way. So I see them really stepping up in the latter part of the season. That's going to be our uh, biggest team to look out for. Uh, you can't pick them because we are. You can't pick a team. Yeah. Well, who the hell am I supposed to pick? Fine, Battlestar. Go yeah, there we go. <laughs> Battlestar coming back to win this. Show. All right. Next question. All Let's right. go. This comes from Ricky Dwight Howard Light Smile Holmes, the charger that you <laughs> so much are in love with. Oh, Ricky. From Rome Springer. It's the midpoint of the season. Why not discuss biggest surprises and biggest uh, disappointments so far? Oh, well, hold on. About this post, Ricky, I gave you a lot of love earlier. You said who's the first team that's going to beat Five O'Clockers. You came back an hour later and realized there's another undefeated team in the league. Granted, we play one another next week, but... Come on, man! Come on! <laughs> so to answer Rick's question, his second question, will the Five O'Clockers remain undefeated after this week? Oh, it's going to be close. I'm not going to pick sides. It's going to be a tie or, you know, I can't pick a winner here. Uh, you know, two great teams. Won't say it. Eh, yeah, pick a winner, man. Yeah. All right, I'll ball up and I'll pick my own team because why the hell would I pick anyone else? Kick ass knocks them off their uh, winning streak. Uh, we do it by a run, you know, great game. Joe Namath over here, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, we're guaranteeing it. Jess fans know what I'm talking about. Joe Namath. What do you got? Uh, biggest, uh, what, for what? For Let's just go with who's, are they going to beat the 5 o'clockers this week? Go. No, I said pick them, so I don't know. It'll be a Fuck tie. It. It'll be pick a someone. Kick-ass wins. Kick-ass wins. I get kick-ass knocking them down. Biggest disappointment so far. Oh, man, I think that's sort of the same question with Free Ballin and the Jaggernets. You know, I don't want to call them a disappointment because they've had tough games. Yeah. Uh, you know, but I expect them to break through in one of those games. Uh, <sighs> Free Ballin, they tied us, they got it. I expect them to break through. I'm not saying they're a big disappointment. I just expect them to break through and win some of those games. Yeah. I don't want to call it a disappointment, but... Uh, you know, that's how I feel. Yeah, I got to go with uh, the Burning Bridges. I think uh, a team that was the number one seed last season uh, didn't lose a single game. They tied a couple, but uh, this season they've started out with 3-3. Three and three. I know that's not what uh, Phil Balthus uh, really had in mind, but I think they'll get it together and they'll be fine. But so far this early season, they're a little bit of a disappointment. I thought they'd come with, a, you know, despite the – Challenging schedule. I thought they'd come out with a winning record uh, after the first five weeks. It yeah. hasn't happened. So free balling and uh, Bridges. 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 And I'll go. I'll, I'll go Yagernot since I have to pick a different team. Yeah, I'm team sorry. has been consistent the whole time. Uh, have labeled themselves the rum springer of this season. I take a slight offense to that. So uh, you guys are a big disappointment this season. So turn that shit around. <laughs> Biggest right. uh, surprise this season. Last question. Oh, you know, I I can't say what I want to say, um, so I'll go with my second favorite team in the world. Uh, Foul Ball's winning a couple games. Uh, love it. Love to see they're competitive. Love those guys. Uh, you know, not a huge surprise for those of us in foul territory, I but love it. Surprise. Yeah, I like it. Keep it going. Not a big surprise, but thanks. All right, I'll say uh, for biggest surprises, I could go with the Chevy Gangsters. Uh, I had them pegged as, uh, you know, I know this guy uh, was predicted, predicted big things for him, but uh, they've been a little bit more competitive than I expected, so to win their first three games is uh, surprising to me. Uh, for me, I'll go kick-ass. I'll go with you guys. You know, you've been talking a lot of that smack for, for uh, seasons past. Talking about getting a squad together that's going to run the Waka League, and it's finally Man, come. Manny has been talking yeah. shit for it's finally come. Come. <laughs> Because, you know, we've been watching the whole time on how great He's backing it up now, though. But, yeah, it's, it's been backed up, so a, a, a good surprise for you guys. Yes.
That, that's that it. it? That's all we got. Just a lot of comments, but those are the only questions, so get your questions in next week and I'll we'll answer for you. That's it for the lightning round. Coming up next week, I don't know, kind of a big deal. The mid-season party. Brent, you got a bug on your deal. shoulder I just killed. May 12th, hit us with the info. May 12th, 5 p.m., Lucky's Dueling Pianos. We'll have four kegs of domestic beer. Uh, we'll have three dollar walking bombs, of course. Boom. We'll have an appetizer buffet. That shit. Delicious food. What are you yes. there? <laughs> <laughs> an appetizer. It's right, a mystery, right, man. I swear to God, it's awesome. Yeah, what was that, yeah. like chicken fried steak? I don't know. <laughs> that was some kind of beast. They, they, Eat it. They switch it up. They switch it up. But it's great. Um, you know, if you think we throw down on Wednesdays, just wait till you see us on a Saturday. I'll tell you, it gets stupid. It gets silly. You, hey, bring money for a cab. You will be leaving your car in the Lucky's parking lot. Bring a change of underpants. I cannot be more serious about that. Yeah. And for all you single people out there, if you think some of these kickballers look hot on Wednesday night and just like kickball jersey and their hair pulled back, wait till they get dolled up for the midseason party, mm. man. They come out dressed to impress. It is hot, man. It is very hot. I will be very hot. <laughs> but I think that's all we got for this week. Anything else, Mr. Commissioner, Mr. Drunk by... You're not drunk yet, so that's no, I'm disappointing. Not. I'm sorry. Uh, you don't get to say anything <laughs> then. Well, fuck me. Hey, you know, great 80s week, everyone. I loved it. Great podcast again. Thank you, everyone who tunes season. in and watches. Yeah, this season is effing incredible. I love being a part of it. I love being here with you guys. Hey, any last comments real quick? You've got 10 seconds. See you guys on Wednesday. Hey, thank you guys for everything. It's been an awesome season so far. We're five weeks deep, and we still got another six weeks to go. Walker Peninsula, stick around. Love you, baby. Three up, three down.